what's up HeroVerse fans, welcome back to another electrifying episode where we dive deep into the mystical realms of DC Comics. Today we're unraveling the enigmatic and spellbinding character known as the Enchantress. From the Suicide Squad to the Justice League, this magical maven has left an indelible mark on the DC Universe. Before we jump into the enchanting details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things Heroverse. Trust me, you won't want to miss the magical journey we are about to embark on. In the mystical realms of DC Comics, the Enchantress made her debut in 1966's Strange Adventures No. 187, setting the stage for her complex narrative. The character's origin story unfolds in mysterious layers, later expanded upon in key issues like 1987's Suicide Squad No. 8 and 2011's Justice League Dark No. 1. The Enchantress, initially known as June Moon, emerges as one of the DC Universe's most enigmatic figures. Her magical prowess rivals that of Zatanna or Doctor Fate. But the question looms, does she wield her extraordinary abilities for justice or to empower the forces of wickedness? This moral ambiguity becomes a central theme in later iterations, adding depth to her character. However, in her first appearance in 1966, the Enchantress's tale began innocently. Freelance artist June Moon and her boyfriend Alan Dell found themselves in a peculiar situation at a costume party in a mysterious castle. The atmosphere took a surreal turn when a griffin and a gargoyle made unexpected appearances. Unfazed, they continued the search for costumes. As the night unfolded, strange occurrences escalated. An ancient gong sound triggered an eerie glow on a tapestry depicting a minotaur. June, separated from Alan, discovered a hidden room filled with spooky figures, including a giant redhead on a throne. Initially dismissing it as elaborate party decor, June's perspective shifted when the mysterious redhead spoke. The mysterious figure revealed that ancient evil had been awakened, tasking June with stopping it. Instructed to utter the words the Enchantress, June underwent a transformation, acquiring formidable magical abilities. As the Enchantress, she confronted the chaos unfolding at the party. Commotions in a collapsing roof prompted her to use magic to enlarge a suit of armor, holding up the ceiling and ensuring the guests' safety. The Minotaur, unleashed by the gong strike, posed a threat to the party goers. The Enchantress subdued the creature, unraveling the connection between the gong and the castle's dark magic. A second strike banished the malevolence, allowing the guests to escape safely. Returning to her June Moon identity, the Enchantress discovered the transient nature of her powers. They faded when she ceased to be the Enchantress. The cinematic portrayal of the Enchantress in the 2016 film Suicide Squad took a distinctive turn from her comic book origins. In this adaptation, she didn't emerge from a mysterious castle in the 1960s, but rather from another dimension entering our plane of existence around 4,358 BC, over a millennium before the War of the Gods. This ancient version of the Enchantress, accompanied by her brother Incubus, wielded incredible power that garnered them the status of gods in the eyes of ancient humans in pre-Columbian South America. The duo was worshipped, their supernatural abilities capturing the awe and reverence of the civilization. However, the narrative took a dark twist as their subjects ultimately betrayed them. Betrayal led to the downfall of the Enchantress and Incubus, and somehow they were defeated and sealed away into containers. These containers, encapsulating their potent energies, were then placed within the confines of a tomb located in the Tres Osas Caves. There, hidden for millennia, the powerful entities awaited an opportunity to re-emerge. This occurred as archaeologist Dr. June Moon was investigating a location along the densely vegetated Tres Osas Caves in the north-central highlands of Peru. During her exploration, she stumbled upon a shaft leading to a chamber containing a tomb. Within this chamber, a doll-like vessel containing the witch captivated her attention, compelling her to unwittingly unleash the spirit of the ancient deity. Ha ha ha!
Subsequently, the spirit takes possession of June's body, coexisting with her usual self until the trigger word Enchantress is uttered, at which point the ancient entity dominates her consciousness. If you are enjoying what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends and family who might find it interesting. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue creating awesome content. Stay tuned for more and remember, your engagement keeps us going. Now let's get back to the action. Dr. Moon's involvement with the Enchantress made her a target for Amanda Waller's Task Force X, also known as the Suicide Squad. Complicating matters further, Moon was romantically involved with Rick Flagg, the leader of the squad. Waller exploited Moon's struggle to control her powers, leading to the Enchantress overpowering her completely. The situation escalated when the Enchantress broke free, finding her brother's vial and unleashing chaos upon Midway City with a legion of monsters. enlisted Task Force X to extract a valuable asset from Midway City. The team comprising Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, El Diablo, and Killer Croc was equipped with nano-explosives and gear. Flag briefed them on the mission, later joined by Slipknot and Katana. However, their helicopter was attacked by the Enchantress, forcing them to continue on foot. A fatal mistake by Slipknot, misled into believing the explosives were fake, emphasized the real danger they faced. Facing the Enchantress's minions, particularly targeting Flag due to his connection to Moon, the squad fought their way to their target, Waller herself, who was revealed to be deeply involved in the Enchantress's scheme. Amidst chaos caused by the Joker, Waller's evacuation was interrupted, leading to the Joker's apparent demise and Waller's capture by the Enchantress. The squad, realizing Waller's deception, devised a plan resulting in El Diablo's sacrifice, the destruction of the Enchantress and her brother, and the squad's return to Belle Reve with reduced sentences. In the Injustice video game series, the Enchantress follows a narrative similar to her original comic backstory. Initially, she is portrayed as a freelance artist attending a costume party at an ancient castle where she discovers a hidden chamber and receives magical powers from a being named Zamor enabling her to combat the castle's evil forces. However, subsequent appearances see her engaging in battles against Supergirl, attempting to obtain supreme magical abilities to nullify all other superpowers on Earth, but failing twice. These defeats lead to her descent into villainy, as she aligns herself with the forgotten villains and participates in the army of supervillains during the Crisis on Infinite Earths event, marking a significant shift towards darkness and her character's trajectory within the game series. And there you have it, fellow Heroes adventurers. We've journeyed through the mystical depths of the DC Universe, uncovering the secrets of the enigmatic Enchantress. If you enjoyed delving into the magical realms of DC Comics with us today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow superhero enthusiasts. Remember to subscribe to Heroes and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our thrilling adventures through the world of superheroes. Whether you're a fan of magic, mayhem, or heroic deeds, Heroverse is your ultimate destination. Until next time, heroes, keep the spirit of adventure alive. This is Heroverse, signing off.